Hello everybody, Sir Monkey Suit or Zappy here, back again with the last episode of Haikyuu. Um, for now anyway, hopefully Season 4 will be coming at some point, but you know, as, as for right now, it is the last episode of Haikyuu. So yeah, by the end of this episode, Shiratori Zawa or Karasuna will have won it. I'm leaning more towards Shiratori Zawa in it, because you know, they've been hyped up so much. It's just for them to lose, like, in the first match against Karasuno would be a bit of a sort of, um, anti I mean, uh, I don't even want to say anti-climax, but a bit, you know what I mean, expecting more of Shiratori Zawa. Um, you know, throughout the se throughout the, like this season, I've been wondering, like, maybe, yeah, if Karasuno do get through, then they can have that competition match with their, like, competitive match with Nekoma that they've, that they've never had before. And having the third years there would be perfect, but, you know what I mean, I just, I, I just don't see it happening. Um, so, as I mean, I can I can just see this being the last episode that we're going to get with the third years. It's a bit, it's a it's a bit uh, it's a bit sad, but I expect this episode to be fucking epic. So you know, either way, yeah, it's going to be bittersweet. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. So we're just going to get an episode ten and uh, see see what happens. So let's go. Okay, nineteen to twenty, Karasura in the lead. The battle of concepts. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom was running on empty. Almost, but. Back attack! Bosh! Nice! Oh, fucking come on! Oh! Off the fucking face! Why did he get knocked out? <laughs> I don't think he's missing this one though, is he? <laughs> oh my god, he's not gonna say. Samai broke the game. Just a cross of Shimita Mastaga. Saigon of Saigon, straight or Shimima Show. Killed on the Nanjupon of Samai Broke. Sending straight to Gani Nogemicho. Yeah, with this one, they're going, they're going straight for the block. The straight will kill it though, then the one, but. God! <laughs> Holy fuck, Ayama! Oh, really? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's the imagery that go with? <laughs> I love the imagery, man. <laughs> Look at go. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> this is fucking... This is epic as fuck! <laughs> Where's he going here? Just a little bit off. The hell are they? He's never gonna figure that fucking chill out. <laughs> but just a little bit off. That shot is great. The shot is so good. And the crows to come in as well. I'll be the perfect time to fucking get it. Nah, nah, someone's getting that. Wait a minute, what? No, wait. If this drops, the win! Don't they? I don't know. Wait a minute, what? I'm so fucking confused. There's no way Karasu are winning this. Oh my god! The fucking one! Shocked. I, I don't believe it. I don't fucking. I was so fucking sure Shiratori's all were winning that. From the fucking concrete. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, not all about hype, mate. 
I haven't even wrote anything down. I, I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking happy for them. I'm, I'm so happy for them. Fuck. And Kageyama managed to get there as well. Oh, fucking hell. He did that far in advance. いつもと違うことをやりに来たチビちゃんにちゃんと合わせた。ムカつくほど見えてやがる。俺、ありがとうございました。あ、カルフリ、あ、カンプリーブ、でね、あ、カンプリーブ。グッドラックチャーム。負けるとは思ってここにいる奴はいないよな。あ、ファケット。あ、どうでもいい。みんな。お疲れ様。僕。僕。嬉しいです。サムラ。最後よく。よく。テイファケン。サラモア、エコンシ。大チーム。スケジ
確か猫コマもフクロウダニも残ってたなもう一回がない試合やるぞハルコーデです武田先生お電話です外線2番ですはいお電話変わりました武田ですはいはいえ<笑> What is it now? 何やってんのあいつらちょっとセーブジョバイス <laughs> Can't wait for Shoyo to be bang right on the top. Watch it out, it's gonna be 338. See that the same bar is one higher. No, it's not! Oh, I, was, I was certain it was gonna be. Is that the same thing fucking Ushijima was、uh, a part of? Shit! Oh my god! So there we go. Episode 10. The last episode. Fuck. It, pff, fucking pff, how? <laughs> I, looks like, I look like such a fucking idiot right now, don't I? Oh, yeah, sure, toys are.、Oh, they've got to win, right? They, they've got to! Fucking no! What? I could. I, that is. That. That is, that is great. That is, that is honestly, that is quality because that is something that a lot of shows would have just been like, no, 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 we'll, we'll go. Obviously, we've got to make sure Torizawa win and then make and then make Karasuna chase it the next time around, but fucking hell. That's crazy. I had to fucking, I had to like, I had to go, to, like, go, like, go over in my mind again because obviously it was, the ball was falling for fucking ages. And they were flashbacking and they were fucking, like, you know what I mean? Like, going to all these different perspectives, getting people's thoughts on what the hell was just happening and shit. And the ball was falling and I was like, wait a minute, no, wait, no. Sure, Tories are, got a point back, right? So this is just to, to get ahead again. And I'm like, no, wait a minute, no, they haven't, they haven't got a point back. And then it fucking hit me. Like, you'll see the moment where it hits me where, where I'm like, Fuck, if this drops, they've won, and there's nobody there. Nobody's getting that. And I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. If there were bets going, I would have put money on Shiratori's Owl winning. I, I can't believe that the, the fucking Karasunas just won that. I was fucking. I was ready. This, the fucking pre discussion, I was like, I'm ready. This is the last episode that we're going to get with the third years playing volleyball. But it's not, though, is it? Fucking hell, man. It's just me thinking, like, oh, yeah, well, obviously, this is how it's going to go. You know what I mean? Obviously, Ushijima's going to get the point here. No, he, he switches to a cross, and Kageyama fucking. And Kageyama manages to receive it. Of course, earlier on, before that, he like he switched places with with Hanata because he knew that was exactly what was going that what was going to happen. Fucking Kageyama, legendary in that one. <sighs> Coach Ukai acknowledging Tsukishima as MVP when I've been saying that all the time. Great, love it. I love how. By the way, that imagery of like Ushijima like keeping everyone down, and then like you have like the like the fucking you have Tanaka and the third year is like fucking trying to prop them up, you know what I mean? Like coming back at them. 
And it's something that sort of carried over, obviously, to, like, to after the match there, where Tsukushima was, like, going back on it. He was like, fuck. And it's like, you know, you had Kageyama and Shoyo both, even though they beat them, say, it, like, you know what I mean, still bigging up Uchijima because of how good he is. Um, you know what I mean? Even though they just beat him. Um, and it's that kind of thing. It's like, it's like individually, they're still not at that level of what Ushijima is. But, you know what I mean? It, it, uh, fucking... Oh, my God. And now fucking... Kageyama has been invited to go to the fucking... The, what, the National Youth Intensive Train Camp? So he's in the... He's in the... Like, the youth squad, I guess, for, like... Training with the youth squad for the, the actual national team. Because that's what Ushijima was a part of as well, right? Mental. The only, the only thing I can... I don't know when the sort of, like, actual national... The, like, the nationals or whatever will take place. Um, so, like, when they'll go up against, like, Nekama, Fukuro, Dani, or whatever the fuck. Um, I don't know when that'll, then, when that'll take place, but... I'm just wondering, if he's... If Kageyama's going there, does that mean that he's not... He'll not have time to practice with Karasuna, then? Because, cause I, I mean, what's... I don't know what... That's mental. That is, that's just nuts. I don't know if fucking Oikawa's ever even got that, has he? Maybe you have to get to the Nationals in order to actually get that, given that privilege to go train with them. So maybe Oikawa's never gotten that before. Well, but he should, considering how good he is. Um, fucking... I've, I've just been... I've just been caught royally off guard and it's 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 such a it's such a weird feeling when 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 somebody gets caught off guard because it's not even like <sighs> it's when you're so like sure of something and then it doesn't happen when you're, you're just so fucking mind blown, like that, that's what's happened to me. My mind went blank the whole fucking thing, and then I realized I looked down. And I was like, I haven't, I haven't wrote anything down. I'm like, what's the point? What is the point? I'm just gonna take it all in because that is fucking, that is mental. From the very fucking start, I was like, right, they're gonna begin Shiro Torizawa. Yeah, they're not gonna, they're not gonna beat Seijo and then beat Shiro Torizawa back to back, are they? Especially when the fact that it's going five sets, which is something that Shiro Torizawa is used to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I, I was honestly I was so fucking I was just I was just so fucking happy for them, so fucking proud. The third year is like, you know what I mean, like specifically because I was just, I was ready for them to, this was, this was it, this was the last time I was going to get them to see play volleyball for Karasuno, and, and, and it's not the last time anymore, and it's like, you know, the, the best thing is that they got an award for it, they got something, like, something, some, something physical, like, something, like, you know what I mean, Con like, a proof of how good they were, and the third year's got that, you know what I mean, they didn't get fucking, they didn't get knocked out at the last, at the last hurdle, and, and and went away with like from Karasuno with with nothing. They've got they've actually got something now that they can fucking treasure. And I, honestly, I'm so fucking happy for them because you know, I, I, like you feel sorry for them anyway because they they came into Karasuno expecting something that they never got, which was you know because the original Kochu guy was was uh, ill and, and hosp like hospitalized and stuff, and you know what I mean it all just went to shit and they. They couldn't bring it back. The only time they managed to bring it back was the last year, and that was that. Their chance. They had two chances. They missed it on the first one, and got it on the last one. They, they got it, and it's fucking. It's great, and they fucking deserve it as well. Because, like, especially Daichi, because he fucking royally pulled it out of the bag. Like he he fucking he went he went nuts, and it's the biggest understatement in the world. The first thing that you get introduced to with Daichi. Daiji's character is like, oh, I'm not as special as any of these guys, but I'm a good receiver though, I'm experienced. And it's like fucking understatement of the century. Daiji fucking legend. Um 
So yeah, like fucking. Uh, well, I mean, we're gonna have to wait for a season four now. I, I, I think there, there is no. Um, There was a lot of anime where, like, they'll stop on a certain season and then people will be like, oh, when's the next season coming? And it's very much left up in the air. I feel like with Haikyuu, I, I feel like it's, it's it's almost a certainty that there is a season four coming. It's just a matter of when. Uh, because this fucking, honestly, this show is great. It has so much fucking, it has so much character to it. And, you know, a lot of people say, like, with sports anime and stuff like that, is like, there's not a lot to really grab onto. And I think the one thing that they really nailed was the fact that when it's a sports anime, the things you've got to get right is the characters. And the characters are well and truly above and beyond. So they've, they've absolutely nailed it. Um, you know, so I mean, you, you, you feel for the, like, you know what I mean, the other characters and the other teams and, like, and, the other teams and stuff. And yet you, you, um, you know what I mean, you enjoy watching them, you know what I mean, especially Bokuto from Fukurodani and stuff. And... You know what I mean? That, that that's the one thing that I think you have, probably have to get you have to get right with with uh, with a sports anime is the characters because you know the story will always follow the sport and if you can overcome the other team like that's what it's going to be. So the story, um, you know what I mean? You don't have to expect a lot of um, a lot of the sport is like because of the sports anime. A lot of it is like the journey as opposed to obviously the the uh, the, the, fuck, the final product kind of thing you know whereas you know what i mean there are animes where you're looking up to the fucking final the finale because that's where all the shit goes down um and that's where and that's what you're just kind of building up to whereas this it's a consistent sort of like across the board um and you need the characters to to uh to, to carry carry the story more, more than anything and i think that honestly they've done a real good job there i mean i love all the fucking i love all of them um so they've just they've, they've absolutely you know they've, they've knocked that one out of the park. Um, they've, they've really, they've really come through with that. Um, you know what I mean? And I've I've enjoyed I've enjoyed what like I've really enjoyed watching this. I mean, when it comes to like sort of absolutely burst like you know what I mean when I when I absolutely get absolutely you know crazed about something. You know what I mean? Haiku does it more for me than anything else. Like I go fucking I go nuts when something happens. And you know what I mean? Before I started watching it, one of the first comments I ever read I read about it was. It was hype Q, not high Q. It was hype Q, and you can, I can see why. I can see why. I, I mean, I got it. I understood it first episode when you see like Hinata, and it's like, in the, obviously they've done this, um, you know, the art style where like they, they do it like very, very heavily sketched, um, and like characters go into that sort of like very obviously drawn, like state. And it's cool as fuck. And the, the first time that fucking happened in episode one, I was like, <laughs> "This fucking anime is gonna. This anime is definitely getting gonna get me fucking hyped up with points." And it, it absolutely has not disappointed at all. I'm I'm absolutely over the moon. I like managed to uh, like to actually react to this, um, and I look forward to season four because uh, that that has to come out. It has to at some point. You know what I mean? If if it's gonna take. I'd hope that it, it gets at least announced in the next year. Um, you know what I mean? Because I don't I, honestly, I don't want to be waiting. I don't want to be waiting. I want I want fucking more high queue. So yeah, that is that. That is that. Um, I will get up. Let's see what we are. Um, what we are replacing high queue with. Right. Um, Suzumiya Haruhi, no you two. I think that's what's taking it over right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I believe that's it. So yeah, Suzumiya Haruhi, no you two is uh, is taking over Haikyuu. Um and that will start on Tuesday, I believe. So yeah, so look forward to that if you're interested in uh, in that. And uh, yeah, I think that is all I need to talk about, right? I don't think there's anything else. No. I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Normally I write down notes so I don't miss anything. And I, I actually get to talk about everything. But you know what I mean? If I have, I, I apologize. But yeah, that is all. That is it for Haikyuu, at least for now. So, 
In the description below, I have a bunch of links to different things, the Discord being one. I urge everyone to go over there, especially if you want me to uh, react to a certain show, because that's where pools and things start. Uh, also, if you just want to come over and chill and uh, talk to me or the community, then you're free to do that as well. Um, my PO box address is in the description below, so if you do want to send me anything at all, you can do with that address there. I will open it up on, uh, on video, it'll be a nice little addition to it. Uh, and finally, Patreon, that is the big one, obviously. Um, We've got a bunch of different tiers and rewards uh, depending on how much you pay. So if you pay $5 a month, that is the early access tier. That gives you access to videos a week early. And it also gives you access to two extra videos per show that I do. So general public gets two videos every single week um, for each show. Uh, if you're early access uh, tier patron, then you get four episodes per show a week. Uh, and they're a week early. So it's pretty good value for money, I think. If you're clamoring for more reactions from me more frequently, then that is the place to go. Um... $10 a month, that is full full length, uh, so if you you know want to see my reactions uh, fully unedited, uh, as long as you have your own reference footage, you can just, you know what I mean, click them both at the same time, watch them both, and uh, yeah, that's that's full length for you. Uh, $15 is the exclusive TR patronage, so uh, you get access to another show that I'm currently doing, which is Parasite, um, so if you want to watch that while it's airing, then you can, uh, then you can do uh, with that one there and also all OVAs as well all OVAs across all shows are now in the exclusive tier patron um, Tier yeah, so uh, if you want to watch those then uh, that's the place to go uh, $50 is the elite tier that gives you a choice of a show that you want me to react to and I will react to it It will go to the back of the queue. I think there's seven seven shows in there at the moment um, So I will get round to it eventually um, or if you want to jump the queue, then you get the God tier, which is $100 a month. And that will basically mean that I will react to that show next after whatever the next show is. It's finished. Um, uh, obviously, the rules for God tier and Elite tier are that the show needs to be uh, 150 episodes or less. And also the fact that I've never seen it before. So, you know, other than that, it's pretty much free reign of any show you want. Um... Uh, and also, both the God and Elite tiers are accumulative. So, obviously, it, my patronage is set up, my Patreon set up to like a monthly pay basis. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can just pay once and then just stop the patronage. But if uh, if you pay like a hundred dollars to, to you know make me watch a show of your choosing, um, and then the uh, come the, then the next month comes along and you pay a hundred dollars again, you actually get another choice. So you know it keeps going. So third year third month along you pay a hundred dollars you get a third one again so you know it's all accumulative um and yeah that is that so thank you everyone for watching this haiku with me it's been an absolute pleasure and i will see you all next time bye bye